Hello everyone. Welcome to the April Sheet Load of Cards um, collaboration. And this is hosted and desi really designed by Call Me Crafty Owl, who is Alicia. Hi Alicia. So this um, month I decided to go with these beautiful papers of Stampin' Ups called Pressed Petal Specialty Designer Series Paper. They are in the current annual catalog. As far as I know, they're still available. And I used Mossy Meadow, Knight of Navy, and Crumb Cake cardstocks, as well as Very Vanilla, the regular Very Vanilla. I also used the Path of Petals stamp set and coordinating uh, dies called Petal Label Dies. The only ones I used are these little ones here in the middle which there we go and um for one or two of the cards i used i think two of them i used all days are beautiful that begin with you out of floral essence and for a couple of the cards i used the starburst punch and the two inch circle punch these are all stamping up and um i did also use some Happiness Blooms enamel dots in Night of Navy, and on some of them I used the Night of Navy and the Holiday Basic Rhinestone Basic Jewels. And then the only other things other than glue is I did use some burlap ribbon, and I also used the uh, Magnolia Lane Ribbon Combo Pack, the Mossy Meadow Thread, which I used quite a bit of, it seems. Anyway, so that is that. So let me show you my card. Let me just organize here. <laughs> I put them in the wrong spot so I can lay these down. Um, so this paper is double-sided and that allowed me some other options too. But on these, I decided to go with the same background paper as the front paper. And then this is the back side of one of the papers I picked actually it might even be the back of this I can't remember um, and this particular one opens sideways uh, I wrapped the mossy meadow twine around only the upper card on this one and then here's the path of petals uh, stamp and dies and um, the bling from the holiday rhinestones and I haven't stamped the inside yet I haven't quite decided what I want to put in there or if I want to leave it blank to just write so for now I haven't done that other than put a piece of either Knight of Navy in this case it's Knight of Navy and very vanilla inside to make it sturdier so that one's that one and then this is the same papers but going the direction of the um, um, of this <laughs> on the back is you can see it's an a2 but it goes vertically that's what i'm trying to say um and I, this one has um mossy meadow inside because the starburst punch on this one is mossy meadow and these are bumped up on black dimensionals actually these two and the next two uses the burlappy paper um, I'm trying to see if I have a piece that I can show you patterns of them because all right this will be the next one which has pink on the back you'll see that okay this is the blue one with the flowers and on the back of that is green which you'll see also um i think i actually i used the back of that on here these two first ones and the other sheet i don't think i have any more oh, oh yes i do the other burlap sheet is actually these green ferns on the back so this background paper and this are from the same sheet okay i hope that made sense so it's nice to have double-sided paper because you can it gives you more choices so this one again opens um sideways i put um and i don't know that i originally intended it like that but this looked upside down to me so i put i put it sideways i did wrap the twine again around the whole card this time i'm sorry 
did I? No. What I did is I slipped this in on top of this one and then I glued it down and I wrapped the twine around um, the bottom layer, like both layers is what I'm trying to say. So that's what I did, but it is not on the inside of the card. I stamped this in Night of Navy and these are the enamel dots, the Happiness Blooms enamel dots. So that goes like that. This one is a vertical one, same papers and five of the enamel dots and some of the mossy meadow just tied a bow on that one that has mossy meadow inside they both do okay um the last two it makes six cards so if you're not familiar um she shows you how many card bases you need she doesn't tell you how to do that but you know she assumes you know how to do that and if you don't we can all explain how um, so the only thing I did differently is I didn't do the, she called it cardstock one this way. I did use Native Navy and Mossy Meadow. I did use three sheets of paper and here's the cutting instructions for the 12 by 12. So there's quite a bit left on the 12 by 12, which I'll be using for other cards. And here actually is another three by four that you could use. And I have all these extras, so I might be making more. <laughs> Uh, or, or something anyway so these last two I had flipped over this paper and um, it's that pink scripty uh, on the back this one I put the top layer up on foam tape I put burlap ribbon under both of them halfway through and here I used the uh, path of petals dies um, this one's up on dimensionals, but it's a little bendy. This one I used foam tape, and that's the, that is not stamping up. The foam tape is not. It's this tape I've been trying to use up. But I like it because it's it's sturdier, but it will be a thick envelope. And these again are the Happiness Blooms enamel dots that has Native Navy inside. And I think, yep, so is this one. And no bows on those, just the burlap ribbon and the dots. So those are my six cards i will probably be making more using this and just altering it slightly um so let me put that in the middle maybe there we go nope not down far enough okay so i hope you enjoyed that please um go look at all the other collaborators and see what they made and then on the on or about the 10th of the month something like that uh, maybe a little after that we have till the 10th to get Alicia pictures and then she does a video to showcase all of our collab cards because um, some people are on Instagram some are only posting to their blogs I may or may not post this to my blog um, but if I don't I will at least put the product code I'll take one you know group picture I'll put the product codes for everything I use for Stampin' Up! because I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the USA and I'd love to have your business if you don't already have a demonstrator. Anyway, um, all of my information and links to my web store are down below the video. Below everybody's links. <laughs> so I hope you have a wonderful week and what's left of it, a wonderful weekend and um, stay safe out there guys i know it's trying times so most of these are thank you or general just the one is a sympathy card and i probably will use the path of petals inside that one there's sort of a coordinating um hoping you can find strength for today and peace in tomorrow i think that's probably what i'll put on inside that one all right, everyone, I will let you go. Thank you so much for watching. And, ooh, that's glary. And uh, I will talk to you the next time. Come back on May 2nd to see what we do for May. Bye.